Second, for example, Sabri Mala, we, we heard that issue. Uh, the Supreme Court has pronounced Who is the judgment. gentleman who spoke about Sabri Mala? You did. What's your name? Vinay. Okay. Right to privacy and Ahmad Patani. No, no, I'm not sure. Privacy is not breach when the ORF video is not done. So, uh, but generally. The... Okay, so let me just take the context of what Vinay was positioning. So, Vinay, let me breach my own privacy. Let me take a punchline. You are not catering to the voters, you are catering to the Twitter. That just goes to show Mr. Samir Saran has actually mugged up a lot of questions and is waiting for his punchlines to be delivered. So, let me just breach my privacy, Vinay, and tell you something personal about me. I'm a practicing Hindu married to a Parsi. I ensure that both my children are Zoroastrian, practicing Zoroastrian. They have done their Navjot. Now, what does practicing Zoroastrian mean? Both these kids can go into a fire temple and pray, be it Mumbai, Delhi, or any part of the world. But since it's it, we are having a conversation. Now, but what does that mean for me as a mother? We are today in BKC. Are you a Mumbai girl? No, I'm native from Kerala. You're okay. Oh, sure. Okay, okay. So let me let me give you a context you know, of what happens to me, irrespective of whether I'm a politician or a minister, because I have two Zoroastrian children and a Zoroastrian husband. I am made to stand outside. Okay? I will stand either on the road or sit in my car. And now there will be two million people tweeting about this and the temple room will change. No, it us. won't. It won't. No, so I uh, stand and outside the road. I sit in a car. Andheri, anybody from Mumbai here? Okay. So you know Andheri, there's a fire temple? Yes. So when I took my newborn son, I had to give him at the temple gate to my husband because I was shooed away. And I was told, I am at all right, I believe I have a right to pray, but I don't have a right to desecrate. And that is the difference that we need to recognize and respect. And then I'm going to request so, all of you to line up for questions. I want you to ask so, so the difference is, I have nobody to speak on the Supreme Court verdict because I'm a, I'm a current serving cabinet minister. But just plain common sense. Would you take sanitary napkins steeped in menstrual blood and walk into a friend's home? You would not. And would you think that it is respectful to do the same when you walk into the house of God? So that is the difference. I have a right to pray. I do not have a right to desecrate. That is my personal opinion.